Greetings, my friends, and thank you for rejoining me here in Quest Street War, playing as the River of Federation. So last time, we united the entire Federation under one banner, and we have just developed the plastic explosives, and we took out the people uh, up here, the Chiefdom of Fabruk. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can really annex them. Well, I mean, we have annexed them, but we can't integrate them fully, which really does sort of suck. But here in this episode, we are poised to do the best we can. You know what? I don't think I really want them under us. As much as I love their industry, I'm gonna maybe maybe we can release them. Maybe that'd be for the best. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? Oh wait. Oh they, they oh well. That's okay. This I don't want to deal with the resistance to be honest with you. And this way, if we need to, we can probably get garrison support maybe eventually. They're led by Senhelm of Farbuk, and they are now our puppet, which is still very good for us. We just found Rivatum, and we shall create the book, the crest. Crystal Call, sure, why not? An eclectic team of unicorn researchers has approached us, boasting about the amazing discoveries that they've made in the field of crystal dynamics and offering to apply their knowledge towards the creation of cutting edge weapon systems. The brilliance of these ponies is plainly evident, and the enhancements they can make to our magical weapons may prove decisive in battle. Very good. Someone recommended that I might try to help out these guys. Um, I could maybe send some volunteers to Daybreaker. We can send them to nine divisions. Wow. That's pretty darn nice. Let's see. Maybe I'll just send some regular infantry. There you go, that's nine divisions. We might be able to send tanks, but let's see what happens. I'll send the 40 combat with, these guys should be 40 combat with. Yeah, they are, good. Uh, mountaineers, more less organization, more attack. Fort attack, eh, sp spirit fire. Let's see if we can help them out. Someone recommended that as a comment yesterday. Okay, never mind then, we tried our best. Um, well, <laughs> hmm, how about the Crystal Province? Nope, nope, I guess not either. Uh, our relations aren't high enough, so... I guess we might as well try to improve relations. I think that'd be okay. Special forces for... Magical weapons for special forces. But let's get to some comments since we're waiting for our focus to complete as well. Some more technology. Uh, let's see. Play as the Barad peoples. We can... Land, hold on. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. My apologies. Oh my goodness. Play as the Barad Magrocracy. Eventually, it might be after this, it might not be. I, we'll just have to wait and see. Apparently, someone also recommended that I play, like, there's an Equestria at War sub mod that you're actually humans instead of ponies or something. It's like Escalation 84. I'm not really sure. I need to look into that. Uh, just keep looking out for mods, sub mods. Are we still mobilizing? Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, yeah, we're on all adult serve. God dang. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. A, a level 3 light cruiser. Ah, uh, I love it. Love it so much. Uh, heavy ships. Cool. Cool. Uh, it was also recommended in the comments yesterday that I focus more on support companies as well as just like racial attacks and stuff. So we're going to do that in this episode. Uh, sure, I'll grab that too. Cool. Support weapons help the Solar Empire while well, we try to, but Cantalot has still fallen. And they didn't want our assistance, which doesn't make any sense, but you know what? That is just us. Oh, and we got advanced heavy batteries. Very good. Um, medium batteries. I guess we could if we really wanted to. Make these ships, they're pretty good at this point. Got at least a little bit of radar, rain fire control three, anti air two. Anyone, I think so. Let's grab some of this and then we'll grab some of that. So, this is down just a little bit more. Battle cruisers, oh, these are battle cruisers, huh? All right, well, that's fine with me. And then slightly more speed, which would be a great thing. Other than that, it looks pretty good, except for this right there. And muy bueno, the best ship I can possibly make for this campaign. All right, looks good right there. Very, very good. Doesn't really matter where they come in at. Oh, we can lower the autonomy of a subject. Sure, why not? Crystal Ka. 50 days, that's actually really nice. We get a bonus, nice. Oh, an agent was captured. Oh, Thunder Snowflake was captured. That's not good. Uh, create the NAS. Let's go over here, though. And end the poll tax. Several voting districts in Bakada still use poll taxes as a prerequisite to registration for voting. This archaic institution must be abolished, although the requirements are the same for every pony. The tax adversely affects poor citizens, discriminating against them by hindering their right to vote. But do they deserve the right to vote? That's the real question. Do they actually deserve the right to vote? If they can't... If they don't have enough money to pay for taxes, why should they get the right to vote? Hmm. I don't know. That is up for not this campaign, but for some sort of politics channel somewhere, somewhere else. Not. Oh wait. Huh. It's just auto building up to nine. Holy cow. That's different. You know what? Screw the medium tanks. We're gonna go down our light tank path. More light tanks. Light tanks for all. 
Ah, uh, light tanks. Make the better light tanks, even though we don't have great light tanks. Go and retire them if you can. One ship there, thank you. Very, very good. We could use just a tad bit more steel, so we maybe get some more resource efficiency gain. That'd be pretty darn nice to do. And have a sip of nice, delicious, warm coffee. Let's see. Actually, we might be able to go to war with these guys if we really wanted to, yeah. Uh, you know what? we got to get to some sort of warfare here, right? I don't think we have to. Prywen is getting killed off by the Collective here. Collective. Well, if they want to be, be very aggressive, you know what? We can help them out with that. Even though my main goal is to just finish off the Focus Tree in this episode. Uh, good. Just want to make sure everyone, no one has, like, orders or anything like that. Please stop training. Um, come back over here. Thank you. So, can everyone get down there? That's a bit too much for now. You guys. Come down here. See what you can do. Have a good time. Take them out, and then we'll go out with the Kingdom of Wing body. One, two, that's... That's it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We haven't got a war at all, so I'm kind of open to... Wow, they don't have a lot of divisions. Or a lot of manpower, I mean. So that's pretty good. Cool. If the Solar Empire does not want help, then they shall not get any help. Keep training, guys. Keep training. Civilian economy. Good, good, good. Let's see. Uh, don't build them there. You can build it there. Build them there. Keep building more roads. Roads are very nice. Very, very nice. Ah, good. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Wait. Um. Prywin is... Oh, th these guys are ours. Wait, hold on. Oh, it was, they were fighting down here. Okay, that makes sense. They were fighting down here. That makes a lot more sense then. Go to here. Just to increase the size of our... Potential front against the Kingdom of Wing Body. We got about 100 more days, but we got plenty of time. Just let time go on. Get as much of the focus zone as possible. They don't have a ton of manpower. And the poll tax. And then we shall do... Wrangle big business. Bacardo is home to many rich companies which form the backbone of the economy, but although they are capable of doing good, they must also take steps to ensure that they act responsibly. Putting business regulations in place will allow us to protect employees' rights, protect the environment, and hold corporations accountable for the amount of power they have. Good. And what do we do with all this political power now? Hmm. And we got a lot of population, which is good, because, well, we have a lot. East Grafonia Treaty Organization... We speak against the Red Menace, which is good. It's not really an event that we really need to know about. This is really disgusting. This is really, really disgusting. I hope these guys go to war with someone else. Oh, wait. Crown of Achilles up there. That's disgusting. Well, okay. Oh, crap. Oh, we got our people. In oh, boy. Oh, well, we're probably going to have to lose those guys then, just because I don't know how to rescue them. Uh... There's no way for me to rescue them. Capture, but there's nothing I can do, though. Like, no operations are available to operatives about an intelligence network. I don't know why we can't build an intelligence network, though. I am confused. I don't want to see my ponies die. This is why I don't like sending them out to other places. See, 93, 95%. How do you not have an intelligence agency? It's just, yeah. Build intel network. Quiet intel network. Propaganda. Root out resistance. Control trade. Diplomatic pressure. Counterintelligence. Just... Oh, we'll do that one. That's pretty good. Oh, we can do some training. That'd be fine, but... Oh, we're gonna lose our ponies. I don't want to see... I don't want to see that, man. I don't want to see that. It's gonna break my heart. I don't want to see them. Oh. Oh. Did they just get bigger or something? Someone did. Oh, maybe they released someone down here. That's probably it. There you go. That's not bad. Ah, uh, they saved them more manpower. I kind of hope our guys are actually able to do what they need to do down here, though. It looks pretty bad down here, unless these guys are just training, which they might be. They could be. Operative training, localized training centers, sure. Oh, we get some supplies in there. Yeah, I'm going to build those roads up. We need roads, roads, roads. Oh my goodness, it's so bad down here. Ah, wrangle in big business. Good. Let's go grab the next cruiser stuff first. Excuse me. Shippy, 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 ships. There you go. Because we can let time go on as we're reading the next one here. Uh, let's see. Refurbish the OSS? Sure. The Odesk Zastrateska 
Storid Tival, the department responsible for directing your special operations forces, has a long tradition of adapting and innovating to enhance our unconventional warfare capabilities. If we want to be ready to face the challenges ahead, it's time we looked at restructuring the agency to ensure our special forces operate with the greatest possible efficiency. Good. Very good. And we're of course building up all this stuff here, which is actually very, very good as well. Because supplies, oh, not very good. And when we do go to war, they're all going to hit us very hard. Oh, they have some heavy tanks. Hmm. What are our tank divisions using? We can't do anything with their dragons. Tank templates. There's only 20 combat with, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, actually, if I replaced you with an armored car, that probably would really hurt us mostly. You get a little bit more armor, of course, but still. Light tank threes. Good. Light tank fours. I can't imagine that you guys would have that much armor. 30 armor? Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. We could make these 40 combat with tanks. Uh, that probably would be kind of stupid to do, but you know what? I'm, I'm here for weird ideas. We're gonna make 40 combat tank divisions. I mean, the armor does go up, so don't get me wrong, that's pretty awesome. Armor, speed, soft. That soft attack is pretty good. 577? Ooh. We good, we good. Still not training any more divisions for now. Uh, Marines are looking pretty darn awesome. I don't mind training maybe one more at a time. That's totally fine with me. Better artillery. Let's grab even not that type of artillery. <clears throat> we are almost done with our land doctrine. Armor's looking pretty good. Support companies. Get some more recon. That'd be good. We might want to get some anti-tank as well. Maybe. Artillery. Good. Go ahead and improve whatever we have already in the field. That'd be nice. As well as tactical bombers. We don't need more motorized too, aren't we? Well, military factories eventually. Eventually. But if we really wanted to, we could probably put some in right now. Uh, right there. There you go. Before the Empire declared war in Griffenheim. Duchy of Griffenheim. Oh, they're down there. Are they allied with Fakilia? No, they're independent. Refurbish the OSS. Good. Expand the OSS. The OSS has a sterling history of combat performances, and it's now imperative that we dedicate additional resources and administrative attention to the department. As more and more of our opponents become trained in advanced skills and tactics, their effectiveness of our army will increase massively. Cool. They actually might get Mountaineers, which would be pretty good. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to call all of our allies in uh, soon. Not yet, though. Because I do want to go to war with these guys, just to see what would happen. How strong are these guys? Because we need to give a little bit more time for our guys to get more strength up first. Because they're just too weak. No, I don't want your division. God dang it. Oh, advanced medium batteries are nice, though. All right, anything else here? So, not really... Uh, maybe some subs, maybe? Maybe subs? Oh, what's their deficit, deficit like? Oh my goodness, we're so out of light tanks. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, not good. Light tankerinos. Well, if you could make some more every single day, I'd really appreciate it. If anything, we have our allies. Well, maybe not too many allies. Maybe they'll attack us first. If we went to war or just fought them first, would we win, maybe? And at least we have manpower for planes, that's nice. Uh, put them over there. 400 bombers, yes. Even though these are early bombers, they're gonna switch out with better bombers later on. Um, you know what? Do that as well. Attack their air bases. If I told y'all just to go, y'all might be able to do that, but you're probably not gonna be able to. Asterion, that's fine. If you want to join in, that's totally fine with me. Oh, now they're going. You know what? Help support the attack then. Tank on tank action? Well, uh, I can't pierce them, which kind of sucks. But it doesn't look like it really matters. Hey, divisions. I'm okay. So what's going on over here? War propaganda? Sure. War bonds? We lose some war support. Um. Oh. Well, we can recruit more stuff. Totally then. I don't want to lose these guys. I don't really want to lose them. Big sadness, guys. Big, big, big sadness. Uh, magical. Eh, whatever. We can get that too. Shock and awe is almost done. Good, good, good. Losses? 4,000 versus 5,000 versus 28,000? Not, not, not bad. That's actually not too bad. Shock and awe. So we got more soft attack for infantry and stuff like that. Artillery attack. I love it. <sighs> Better tanks, maybe. Oh, we can do some of that. Oh. We're not using carrier planes. That's fine. Uh, we're using tactical bombers. Go ahead and grab that one. That'll be great. You guys doing okay here? Or... No. Oh, wait. We have our navy. Maybe stop training. Repair. Everyone. And then come down here. 
They're probably gonna get destroyed. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. We're going to repair. Adrian killed. Oh no! Did we lose everyone that way then? No, we did not. That's fine. Yeah, just come, just come home. Please, just come home. For the love of God, please come home. Screw those people up in the north. They're mean. They're evil. Oh, garbage people in the north. Good. Oh, did we not win there? That sucks. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of light tanks for this. Oh, that's not good. Well, it seems like we're doing okay. Heavier firepower, search for artillery. Eh, we'll grab this one for less supply consumption. Our current logistics system is muddied and split among several conflicting agencies, which we cannot continue. From now on, the Bakaraski Logisticini Corps shall be singularly responsible for providing all logistic support functions to the Bakaran army. The standardization of the process will increase the efficiency and reliability of our soldiers. Well, we'll see what we can do. It doesn't seem like we can really advance that well using our tanks, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Eh, we're actually still doing okay, though. Last couple guys here, 23,000 versus... Not bad. Our allies have done really well for us, though. After this war is over, I'm going to cut down the tanks in half, probably. Because they're just not strong enough. Do we have logistics? We don't have logistics on them. Huh. Less artillery. Oh, we need... Yeah, we don't even have logistics companies made. Oh, my goodness. What am I doing? I am failing. Hmm, you know what? Pull out. Everyone hold. I'm gonna reevaluate these guys. Throw everyone down here then. And then take them out. There you go. Uh, these are ours. Oh, well, that's part of the reason why. Level zero. Uh, bubble, bubble gum just kinda hang out for now. Let all these guys come on down. Recon Company 2s. Uh, let's see, logistic ones. That'd be nice. That'd be good. War bonds, region-wide integration. Maybe a few more military factories. Yes, please. Oh, they are attacking us in the back, huh? I see. I see what they're doing. Not a really good idea, but you know what? Whatever. Uh, Ship-wise, are you doing anything? Or pretty sure right-click there, but whatever. Light tank four is good. Light tank five. I don't care if it's ahead of time or not. Head on down that way if you can. Uh, yeah, might as well since we're over here. Take it up the capital. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's, using those light tanks was definitely an experiment. So actually, I'm going to cut down half of you guys. Goodbye. Cut down on that deficit. Good. The Soviet state's gone. Nice. Diplomatic training. Very good. Go and take them out if you can. Go and go that way. That'll be good. You guys are doing a great job. I wouldn't expect anything less. And we're fighting the enemy navy. Oh my goodness. I want to see this. This is the first naval battle, and one of the few that will actually complete in this campaign. Uh, snorkels? Snorkels. Oh uh, yeah, we are shredding through those enemy screens. And I'm loving it. I'm loving every single second of this. Oh, that's so nice. Task force goes boom, baby. Cobalt wind, did you actually have any upgrades on you? No, not really. Kind of sucks. Wish she had some. I always like upgrading those guys a lot. Yeah, 40 combat width. You can't go wrong with them. Love them. Create the bulk. And heavier firepower. Advancements in artillery technology have the potential to massively increase the destructive capabilities of our forces. We must upgrade artillery arsenals to keep pace with these new developments or else risk being left in the dust. Absolutely. Get on up there. That'd be great. What else do we have down here? Hmm. More propaganda. Do some more bonds then. Professional training of application of magic. Cool. Even more defense and attack for those uh, support companies. That'd be very nice. Next up, anything here? We're going to get this very soon, in less than a week. Good, 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 good. Uh, I'm surprised no one else has capitulated yet. That's okay, though. Supplies are really god-awful around here. Let's see, Black Hollow. Well, we're going to get an upgrade very soon. By very soon, I mean now. Ah, another task force destroyed? Ah, destroyed is sunk. And a convoy sunk as well. Uh, I love that so much. I love I said this at the beginning of this campaign. I love, love, love naval warfare in this game. If you know what you're doing. Oh, look at this. Subjects. Thank you. And we are almost done with this. Cypher's done for them. Uh, we should probably do Cypher for wing, Kingdom of Wing Body. That'd probably be good. Uh, nope. We're good. We are good. 
And uh, now the small task force. Agent was killed. Oh, Thunderstorm, like, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're not going to capitulate. Um, Asterion? Wait, hold on. I mean, I know these guys are down here as well. But still. Oh, we actually have to naval. Oh, we're going to have to naval invade. That's going to suck. That's all right, though. Kill off their divisions. Uh, that's why I have marines, you know? I wonder why they weren't capitulating. Because they'd actually kill them off properly. I will send in the tanks in, though. Uh, come to Sidia. This might actually not be the final episode in this campaign. I don't know. Because we're not getting through the focus tree that quickly. And there are enemies we can take out, so... Hmm. And throw one that way. Whoever lands will spread out as quick as possible. Operation Penguin... Recruit a penguin operative. Good. Oh, this is... This is brutal. I mean, we don't have a lot of organization because the supplies so bad down here. That's alright, though. Good. Oh, losses. Yes, yes. Bring them on. Count... Ah, oh, the county's gone. Good. Now, you guys. Plan for a massive assault through this area. Actually, instead of that, let all you guys come here. Good. We're going to have to increase the infrastructure here regardless, so. Hmm, plane-wise, definitely get more planes around here. We got plenty of civilian factors, so I feel totally okay doing that. Good. And we're done with all that stuff. Good. Heavier firepower is always nice. How about we grab army motorization efforts? So, motorization greatly increases the strategic mobility of our infantry units, which would otherwise be forced to rely on arduous marches or pre-existing railroads. This advantage in mobility combined with our armor toughness will allow our forces to effectively out fine outmaneuver any enemy. Ah, another Marine. Great. Just in time. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut you guys down in half, which I really don't like to do. But you know what? As long as each side's got a battle cruiser or a battleship, happy 1017. And the screen, screening for these guys, not too bad. Really not too bad. We got plenty enough room to do this and do that. Very good. Alright, now you guys have settled the dust. Get ready for this war. Another operative to help just defend our lands. Cherry Twirl, please don't die. Please, for the love of God, don't die. I want you to come down to here. Oh, all you're just doing anyways, that's fine. Force rotation, good. Do that one as well. And, oh, we can go to war with them immediately. Well, let's get our guys a little bit more time to heal up first. Go ahead when you can. See what you can do. Um, naval supremacy? What do you mean? Oh, our ships must be repairing. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, they're definitely repairing. These ships are looking not too bad now, though. Oh, God, these dockyards are garbage. Straight trash. Not gonna lie. Straight trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all this crappy infrastructure. Oh, my goodness. Why would you not make better infrastructure? Uh-oh. The ships are out. We're going to play a little bit better, a little bit more. Oh, we actually landed. Easily landed. Okay. Secure a place for our people. That'd be great. Uh, and take half of you guys and come there, too. All right, guys. I want you to come down to here and spread out like wildfire. That spread out, and then well, since you have no, almost no resistance, just go ahead as well. Like, how many divisions do they have left? Oh, up to forty-five. That's actually quite a few. I'm not sure where they're at though. Huh. Uh, public militia. We'll trade off. I like to. I like these guys a lot. I don't want to get rid of the recon or engineers or that one. Field hospitals can go bye bye for now. Then it's fine. Tank template elevens. I want to keep that. I want to keep mage companies. Artillery-wise, do that. It's fine. Slightly less powerful, but they take way less for supplies then. Which is a nice thing. Navally speaking, though. Ooh, subs. We can take that one off. And that one's okay to keep on. We took the capital. Anything else? Not really. Good. Research. Bestest subs. Oh, yeah. And let's make sure we upgrade these guys. Let's see. Nope, nope. Yes. Good. Radar 2s, Engine 4s, Armor 4, Light Batteries 3, 4, Anti-Air 2, that one's okay. Uh, rapid Fire Guns, do that one as well, that's good. Come down here, 
Level three, good, 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 good. Looking good. You're done. You're done, and then you're done once again. Oh, wait, are you capital ships? No, you're not. There we go. Makes it much easier to read. But we're gonna need so much more steel. Holy cow. Yeah, we're really lacking for steel. Uh, can I lower this at all? I cannot. That sucks. And here we go. Between the NOS, crashing waves, special forces, attack defense, multiplier, rolling thunder. Less capacity multiplier, but division organization still goes up. Let's go rolling thunder. With proper training and equipment, our special forces can make use of their skill and cohesion to achieve a rapid dominance on the battlefield. By quickly bringing the forces to bear against the enemy, they can paralyze the enemy's perception of the battlefield and destroy their will to fight, winning the battle as soon as it begins. You betcha. Shit, you betcha. Alright, they should capitulate soon, right? Like, where's their capital? Minos? Cool. And when you go to war by when? Hmm. Within three weeks. I can't delete these divisions, but they're probably just going to die in the field. So, it is what it is. You guys are looking extremely weak still because of the supply issue here. Which is not good. Not good whatsoever. Oh, we actually need way more motorized. I did not realize that either. Modern spell matrices. Let's grab some more resource efficiency gain, even though we're kind of out of that. huh? Steel. Deforming Empire. You're there. Still building more stuff up, which is good. Nice. Are these guys done yet? No? Please don't tell me I have to invade somewhere else now. Please don't tell me I have to invade. There you go. Go when you can. That shouldn't take too long. Got more Marines? Nope. Alright then. Special weapons. I really, I'm not going to go to war yet. Not until these guys have better uh, stats on them. Talent? Um, Where is it? Might be the oh well maybe not at the bottom. Oh, it's Black Hollow. Black Hollow. Okay. Ah, it's not even getting upgraded. So that's fine. We'll just rejustify. That's fine with me. We've got some time. 160 days. We will get there soon enough. So we got two weeks left. You guys did a great job. Uh, just take whatever you can around here. Just kind of go wee because you guys should be moving pretty darn quickly. Pretty darn quickly. Anything else? Yes. Put another operative. Keep sinking stuff. I love sinking stuff. I doubt we have another ship. Oh, we do have another ship. Oh, great. Cobalt Wind, you're doing a great job. Level 5 Admiral. I love that so much. Logistics 2. How about Logistics 3? That'll immediately benefit us in, right here in Black Hollow. So instead of 13%, it's 15. Okay, it got worse. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Seriously, how much more do we have to do to kill these guys off? It's a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Can you push all the way over here? Yeah, this is a bit too much in my opinion to capitulate them, but whatever. Fresh meat! If we wish to remain the premier naval power in the East, we must be willing to adapt and develop new strategies. This will be difficult as long as the entrenched naval officer corps remains inflexible and set in their ways. Bringing new officers into the fold or the group should provide the jolt we need. Yes, we should. You guys should be able to do it pretty easily. Go ahead and beat that guy up, because he can. Hey, good. Anything else? Not really. We don't need political actions for now. You guys are doing a great job. And actually, instead, I'm going to have you guys immediately begin justifying from Lothar to Thesaius. Or however you pronounce it. Come on, they have to be... There they go. There we go, my friends. Uh, collective. I'm just going to go ahead and puppet them. Thank you. You guys, I'm just going to puppet everyone. I'm a big old puppet master right now. And we've expanded the faction. Beautiful, my friend. And, hello. Who is doing this against us? Griffonian M. Oh. Reclaim the South. Interesting. Actually, who do they have as a puppet? Gimno Vedina is a puppet. Oh, they're over there. Uh, I don't care. Alright, well, I was wanting to go down with the guy in the south, but whatever. Bring it on, big sucker. Bearing it on. I'll smash you how I how I smash my toe on the furniture. Hmm. Very forcefully. Well, they got a good amount of manpower at Lake, at Lake City. These guys have two million, so it's going to be a war of attrition. Fighter baiting? Well, hope, don't bait them too hard. Just bait them hard enough. Uh, get some air bases there. You're gonna need a lot. 
Uh, you guys are fine. We got enough s supplies through there, hopefully. I really wish other guys could join you, but, you know, it is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. I really want to kill these guys off. You know what? We'll probably have another episode after this, then. Because I can't get through all the focuses while being at war, because it just takes so much time. But that's okay. Oh, and then we need more time to actually spruce this area up, too. Help out our allies. And by allies, I mean forcibly make them do what we want. Which is basically our allies, right? You help us, or we take you over, and we give you stuff. What don't you love about it? You know? I'm going to keep these guys here, because we will go to war with those guys later on. Uh, let's see who, who these guys are led by, then. A bull, Constantine Ophu. Okay, cool. You guys, same people. You guys, county of this group, led by Ingeborg, Ingeborg, Leitalon, Leitalon. And you guys are King of Griffinstone. Oh. Okay, cool. That same image, okay, whatever, same image. Fresh meat, I love fresh meat. Uh, independent Air Force. It's not bad. Air range, experience, daily gain. Support attack, eh, that's okay. Maybe that'd probably be best. Acquire bombers. I feel bombers. I want an independent one. So if placed under the hoop of a separate branch, we risk stifling the development of the Air Force as well as creating a unity of command problems. Our area of warfare branch must be given autonomy to expand and grow efficiently, free from air, the army or navy. Help other guys even more with that. That'd be very good. Supply-wise, how is it looking supply-wise? Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, it's pretty good, actually. We maxed out the infrastructure, so it should be pretty darn good. Uh, next up, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Looking pretty nice. Two, three. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot of planes here. Two. Put them over there. Good subs. There you go. All oh, those places need all that stuff. Grab some struggles. We're not going to research that stuff yet. That is fine. Uh, we're questioning the motives of people around us. That's fine. Just keep on building. And then we're going to lose all this steel because, well, our enemies want to kill us. But what else is new, you know? What else is new? Grab some military factories, too. Not up there, though. We'll put them um, where? we got to start annexing our own people. We'll probably do that. We'll see what happens, though. Good. Oh, they don't maybe want to go to war with us, really. Well, they want to go to war with us. Oh, yeah, they're definitely losing now. Holy cow. Kingdom of Achilia. Very nice. Well, let's see what happens. Gr Diplomacy with them break down. That's fine, you know, whatever. That seems like more of a generic event. Oh, you guys don't need that either. That'll be fine. You guys come over here and do that then. That's fine. Let's come over here and get more extraction because, god dang, we need more extraction. How many more days do we have with these guys? Uh, Not bad. Actually, we'll go to war with the Griffonian Empire faster than anyone else. So, very cool. Actually, with all our allies here, we might be able to hold the line pretty darn well. Are these guys doing anything? Like, they're doing a lot of manpower. Their divisions aren't even that great, too. But not, at least a number of them. King of Achilles is probably going to be really difficult to take out. Dread League has been very quiet. I don't know how the Solar Empire still exists. That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. An independent air force, very nice. And we'll do acquire fighters. So the only way to effectively leverage our air power is by destroying, oh boy, the enemy air force and controlling the skies. Air superiority is key. Therefore, a crucial step to build up our air force must be importing a decent quality, a quantity of fighters. Now, they declared war, which means their belligerency went up from zero, which means we should be able to go to war with them whenever we want. Ah, uh, yeah. Smarts. Come on, guys, let us go. I want to go to war. Please. I'm just a simple guy who just wants to go to war. Baltimore is lost. Oh my goodness. Uh, go ahead, split you in half, and then double double if we can. No, maybe not. Maybe we're out of planes. It's fine. I'm going to throw all 300 right there. Give them no coverage, you know. Always a good thing, right? Yeah, I should probably focus a little bit more on the Air Force from time to time, but whatever. Come on, let me go to war. Come on, go to war, go to war, go to war, go to war. Oh, they're fighting so many people. we got a week left. Reclaim the West? Come on. Come on, fight me. Fight me. Please, for the love of God, fight me. And then we can go to war with the Kingdom of Winged Body. And then go to war with the Kingdom of Achilia. And then go to the war with the State of Lake City. We got enough time to go to one more episode after this. So I thought this would be the final episode, but it ain't. Woo! Uh, let's see. Basic sub-models. Let's grab the next one. Oh, hello. 
Well, we're gonna beat you to it then. Call I'll, I'll let's go, 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 go before they capitulate. Oh, you guys are up there too. I should have remembered that. Oh well, whatever. Down here we should be able to win pretty darn quickly. Marines? No. King Medina is gone, which anyone with half a brain could probably have thought of that. They've lost so many guys. Holy cow. 1.4 million to Aquila. They gotta be taken out. Oh, they've lost... Oh, wait, Kingdom. Oh, they, they lost a lot of guys, but they've lost a lot of guys as well. That's really nice. I can't imagine that these guys would have a lot of manpower, but they have a lot of divisions. Yeah, they're out of manpower. That's good. We'll have a, probably a small little rump state puppet here. Lake City's not going to get anything really out of this, probably, because they don't really deserve it, which is fine with me. Ah, uh, Hell Quills. That's not a core city of yours, so I'm not going to make sure you don't lose manpower over it. And... Ah, uh, beautiful. Alright, so we don't deserve a lot of this. I'm going to give most of it to Achilles out, so... Give it a little bit of time. They, mu they look like the French group with that flag. That's a one right below the five-star flag. So, you guys... You know what, I'm just gonna take whatever I want first. I'm gonna take this, this, this. We'll get take we'll take that stuff. Because I'm just gonna lose him as a puppet eventually. Team of Vedina. Alright, you guys. You probably can't annex all, so. The game can't even catch up with how fast I wanna give them stuff. I could like do like give them all, but that might not happen. Because of the amount of score that I have currently. And if you probably can't hear, but my cat is outside my room, meowing for him to for me to open the door for him. Good. Good. Don't forget that. Oh, that's too much. Come on. Okay. Right. Good. Good. That should be good. Nice. And let's do this. Occupy territories. Ooh, duchy. Aphethysia. Wait, does Griffonian Empire not have anything down here? Uh, I would like to release them. Oh, let's do another focus though. first, though. Create the NOS. Now that we have successfully overhauled the production process for our equipment, it is time we finish the standardization of our military supply chain. To accomplish this, we will create a Nacionala Oborozitvena Sluzba, a single organization responsible for administering armories across the entire nation. Cool. I speak perfect language. Uh, I'm gonna keep these guys under us. Uh, if that's the case, Ungrifer. Oh, hold on. So they were just re Oh! Hmm. So they were just released. If that's the case, you know what? That is, yeah. I'm gonna release them. Because they probably have claims on our territory, too, over here. Which is not ideal, but whatever. Whatever. Um... You know what? I'm gonna send you guys still down here. Because then I'm gonna send you guys... Right over here. Now they might go to. Oh, hold on. They're probably gonna go to war with us, aren't they? Grand, Grand Duchy. Reclaim Central Griffonia. Um. Where is that? Oh, it's over here. Gain annex war goals. Yeah. Well, if you're my puppet, you can't do anything. So. Well, hopefully they can't do anything. That would really suck if they could do something. Don't do that. We already have a bonus to that. That's fine. Eventually, build this area up. I can imagine the Griffonian Empire will try to kill us. The Griff Griffonian Empires respond like three or three times already in this campaign. So, these guys, they're probably going to try to kill us as well. So, we'll see what happens. Salt Lake City done. A million manpower. That's better. That's actually worse than before. Which is fine. Nice. So have we rearranged ourselves? Hopefully. Hopefully this area's not any better. Okay. Black Hollow. Where the heck is it? Oh. Ah, there it is. See what happens. Go to war by November 2nd. We got a little bit of time. Three. Two. Ooh, no, hold on. Where are my divisions? You guys are over there. You guys are over there. You guys are... What the hell are you doing over there? Seriously, guys, come on. I just know that the Griffonian Empire will try to fight us eventually, so we gotta move somewhat quickly, please. Get your butts over there. 
I don't know why they thought they just could hang out on the beach or on the coast. Your job isn't over yet, my friends. You're not done. You ain't done yet. Region wide, good. Still get 2.78 political power day. That's so awesome. Uh, grab that. More torpedo attack. That's fine. Cool. If we want to make subs, we have the capabilities of doing it now. Better torpedoes, better torpedoes, and then, you know what? I like better torpedoes. We could get snorkels, but visibility, eh. I prefer knowing where the enemies are at. If we want to make them eventually someday, fine with me. Peace conference is over, and the Solar Empire has finally won the war. It took the entire episode so far for them to do that. Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. And we'll go to war, and then we'll end the episode. Eh, maybe we'll read one more focus first, too. You should be level 6. There you go. It's getting a little better. It's getting a little better. And we created the NOS. Come on. Uh, acquire bomber. So, the enormous potential of air power is plainly evident. Bombing has the ability to destroy enemy industry and break enemy morale, as well as provide battlefield support and tactical engagements. If we were to realize this potential, we need to start by obtaining some bombers. Cool. And that's going to end today's episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe uh, to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I, and I will see you tomorrow when we take out the Kingdom of Wing Body, take out the Griffonian Empire, finish this campaign, and hopefully finish up our focus tree. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!